be putting in our mouths today. Shut up, Ben. Baz, let me tell you how this is going to go down. I'm going to take you into the future to a time where you and Ben try and recreate a Snickers bar. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Now, about a year ago, I went to go meet Lucy, Q Lucy. She showed me one of the most amazing recipes I've ever seen, a giant Snickers bar. And today, we're going to attempt to make our own Snickers bar. Homemade Snickers, which means we need to make nougat first. Now, it's a proof of fact that nobody actually knows what nougat actually is. Nougat is an Italian confectionery. It's a combination of egg white and sugar or honey, often tossed through with... Oh my God, who the hell cares? Take caster sugar and liquid glucose, put it into a saucepan and heat it up to 135 degrees Celsius. You'll need to swill it occasionally to make sure it melts evenly. When our sugar syrup gets to 135 degrees Celsius, we need to add in honey, and then we need to heat it to 145 degrees Celsius. At that point, we need to pour it into whisked egg whites, so we can get ahead, crack some eggs, and separate some egg whites. So is this cooking the egg as you're pouring? It cooks the egg because it's so hot, it makes it really fluffy. The same way we make marshmallows, but it's a higher sugar temperature, and you don't need the gelatin. At this point, by all urges of dipping your finger into that, because that's going to scald you. And you might get your finger caught in the whisk. That's it. Now it's super Ooh. sticky stuff, so you're best off putting it in silicon bakeware. Otherwise, if it's cooled down enough, you can put it in a cling film lined baking tray. Now for layer two, the bit that really makes it a Snickers bar, the nutty caramel. All you have to do is take your roasted nuts, crack them, and then mix that in a bowl with some caramel. And actually, this is not the first confection we've ever made. If you click on the eye up there, you can see all the others. Wagon wheels, Jaffa cakes, giant Ferrero Rocher ice cream, and now this one. We're going to now combine layer two on top of layer one. But be careful as you do this, because you don't want to combine the two layers. Now these two layers need to chill up in the fridge for several hours, or actually we're going to put it in the freezer because it is easier to cut it and coat it in chocolate if they're frozen rather than just chilled. Hey James, what have we been doing on the internet this week? Well Michael, we've been doing a bone marrow stew on Tuesday um, for the mystery box mm. and bone marrow just makes everything a little bit better. That stew is like the richest stew that I've ever ever tried. What about the other one? We had a couple of you guys down to the studio for Big Night In. Yeah, we, uh, we cooked up a curry, it was good. It was a good curry night. It was, it was lovely. Thanks Ben. Cheers Ben. Um, we had a comment of the week this week. Uh, I'm just washing my hands, so I don't really know what it is. This is from Sierra Dadovic. You know why I like this channel? Because I stopped asking why years ago and just went with it. <laughs> Wait, did I join a cult? Well, yes, Sierra, you did. I think this has gone really well. Thanks, mate. This is now cold and set, so we're going to turn it out onto a bit of greaseproof paper and cut it into snicker bar sized pieces. Keep it surprisingly thin because we've still got to coat it in chocolate and it is super rich, so you don't want to make them too big. One Snickers minus the chocolate. Cut out loads of these, lay them on the tray and get them back into the freezer while you temper some milk chocolate. Can I do anything? You could break the milk chocolate into pieces in a montage. There you go, done. Now we need to melt it. <gasps> Another montage? No, 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 we've got a video for that. You click on the eye, it'll show you exactly how to temper chocolate. Just amend the temperatures for milk chocolate. With cold set bars and tempered chocolate, all you have to do is combine the two. Put it over a wire rack to catch the dribbles, and the rest kind of make up as you go along. I'm going to put those back in the fridge until they've set up enough for us to pick them up turn them upside down, and do their bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this anymore, mate. This is, that's it. And once they've set, we can eat Snickers. That is so much better than Snickers. Great job. If you think you might like this, don't forget to like it with a thumbs up and comment in the box down below by telling us what else we should be making. Great job, mate. Thank you very much. The thing I love about Snickers bars is that they remind me of when I was a child, which is why I'm marking that occasion by wearing the same hat I used to wear when I was a 12-year-old girl. 
Now make sure you keep an eye on the Twitter sphere because Sorted Food are doing some really cool things at the moment. In and around London, keep your eye on that. But for now, that fridge cam had everything. It did, it had aching teeth. It had a gender transformation <laughs> between the ages of 12 and 14 for Mike. And apparently a very fashionable hat. Obviously, comment below, let we'll me know. See you next week, 10am Sunday, bye. bye.